Hi, today we're going to teach you a little bit about camping with dogs and how to be a good neighbor. So welcome to our campsite and welcome to our camping buddies. This week is the first time that we know of that Scout and Freckles have gone camping or at least it's their first time with us. George and Shana are old hands at this so we're going to use them to demonstrate. So one of the first things to make sure you do is bring an X-Pen with you. Set it up. We've got it set up so it's partially under the awning so that the, if it starts to rain, the dogs are not going to get wet. It's also partially out from under the awning so if the sun comes out and they want to lay in the sun, they can. Sometimes we'll put towels down out here for them to lay on or a bed. But right now, because Freckles doesn't always know where she's piddling, we don't have anything down so that she can piddle in the rocks. Okay, Shayna is going to be our little demo dog, we hope. Here you little girl. Notice we have enough leashes on the X-Pen for all the dogs. Come on. Oh, you're going to wait. And we always lock our X-Pen to make sure there's no escapees. Our leashes have poop bags so that when we walk through the campground we can always pick up after our pets. Make sure you clean up after your pets. It's not fair not to. We bought a ramp for our dogs. We got the pet gear ramp. Come on. Oop, Jana, come on. No. She doesn't want to go back inside. Come on, we're going to go inside. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Oop, there we go. Good girl. Come on in. And once we're inside, we have things set up so that everything is comfortable for the dogs. We have our puppy stairs. And our puppy stairs are the ramp to get on the sofa because we don't like our dogs jumping on and off the furniture. We always want them to be safe and not hurt their backs. We also bring everything from home that our dogs would need. So we bring their normal food. This weekend we're eating Honest Kitchen with ground turkey and beef. They have their camping food bowls, which are plastic, so that nothing can break and they don't slide around on the floor. If your dog has any allergies, you might want to get stainless steel. We keep clean water bowls for them, and we always bring bottled water so that they don't have to drink water that they're not familiar with or that could cause a stomach upset. We bring our freeze-dried treats from home. We bring snoods to keep their ears out of their food. We bring... RX Clay. Always want to have something just in case we get an upset tummy with all the excitement of camping. So that can be added to the diet. We bring our probiotics, again, because they're camping. We give our probiotics every single day anyway, but if they do get a tummy upset, we can up that dose a little bit. We bring an antihistamine just in case there's an allergic reaction to something. Always want to be prepared. We bring some eye ointment because we want to be sure if there's an eye irritation or they get something in their eye, we can lubricate that and clean out the eye. We bring medications from home that our pets are normally on. And we bring a natural flea and tick repellent. If we're hiking through the woods and we want to protect our pets or ourselves, we can use this natural repellent. This one is Vetra Repel. And of course, you should always take along your book which has all the instructions for what to do in certain conditions or problems. Hope you guys have a great time camping with your own pets. We always have fun with ours. Have a good day.